Well, hello. Look at my two new friends. This is Lynn and Vicki. They're from a great store um, in Nova Scotia called Subtles and Sea Winds. And we're going to talk about where that name came from because I had to ask and it's a really cool name. So these ladies have been customers of ours. Hi, thank you for joining Margo. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to these lovely ladies and we're going to play dress up together. I know I missed my dress up this week. Hi, Gord. Nice to see you. Hello, Kim. <laughs> so good to see you. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Catherine. Look at you guys all. I know we're a little bit late. Um, Nancy, hello. So again, um, this is Lynn and Vicki, and they are from Subtles and Sea Winds, which is an amazing destination store in Nova Scotia on Mah on Mahone Bay. And I haven't been there yet, so please forgive the fact that I'm talking like this is another country, when clearly it's just one of the best parts of Canada. So um, what we decided to do, um, because they bought a whole bunch of great pieces for their store, is that we would do a little try on today so they could go through all the different styles, talk about how they fit them, how the styles fit them, um, and maybe be an introduction to their customers as well. Hi, Shafali, nice to see you. These are the ladies from Subtles and Sea Winds. Um, so I should tell you a little bit about their sizing because I know that always helps when you have a sense of what their size is so that you can kind of compare it to yourself. So this is Lynn. Lynn, could you step forward a little? So Lynn is five foot five. They argued a little bit, but we kind of agreed that they're both kind of five foot five, like in a half inch, maybe either way. Now, generally speaking on top, Lynn wears a size medium, and sorry, small, and on the bottom she wears a size medium, so she's kind of pear-shaped. Um, she has a longer waist, and uh, so not like a not like a normal waist, more more like a long waist. And then what you're going to find out very soon is that Vicky has a short waist like me. So if that that might help you just to understand how the different styles look when they try them on and to make that comparison. Um, another thing, well, I'm going to tell you a cool thing that maybe maybe they might not want to share, but. I'm going to reveal your secret. So I asked their bra size, and it turns out they don't wear bras. They wear these things called shape ease, and I think I may need to get one. So it's like a, yeah, there, see, look, it's like a full camisole, and it's really soft, and it shapes you, and then it also has, like, the bra part, but it has underwire, so you get, like, the separation and everything. So we'll have to find out more about that brand. Um, nice to meet you guys. Oh, that's so nice. That's from Shafali. So what we did, again, is we picked a bunch of styles, and the ladies are going to try them over their underpinnings that they graciously brought with them, but to the show, if I actually show you around, you're going to see that we're kind of the only ones here. That's the security guard. Um, but we thought we would just hang out. So here we go. We're going to get started. First, I'm going to introduce you to Vicky. Vicky, come on up. You get to go back now. Thank you. So... Vicki told me, it's actually your store, right? It started yes. out as your store and now it's your no, store. No, no. no, I just work there. Oh, you just work there. <laughs> well, no, she's, she's a part of the, the whole tapestry of what this store is. So can you tell us where the name came from? Talk well, to the camera. The name <laughs> is now 50 years old and um, it comes from a Nova Scotia word, an old Nova Scotia word meaning rags and scraps of fabric. That's what subtles means. And uh, it was uh, things that were left over from other projects or, or things that were worn out uh, in certain places and women saved the good parts of the fabric and they nice. made quilts and hooked rugs from them. That's really cool. Yeah. So, and, and it's so kind of yes, on theme with what we're doing here yes. at Sorry Not Sorry where we're taking the beautiful parts of these fabrics and turning them into clothes that can continue having a life. So. It kind of feels a bit like destiny, doesn't it, that we're working yes. together. Yes. So these ladies have picked up, for those of you who are in Nova Scotia and are planning to shop with these ladies, you will not believe how many great pieces are coming your way. So make sure that you stop in at the store. In the meantime, they're gonna try on some pieces that we still have here available. And for those of you who are watching, I know you hear me complain about it all the time, I can't even tell you what's going on with Shopify inventory right now. I add things, they remove things, I remove things, they add things. So if you buy something that's online and I don't have it, please understand I am working with them and I'm doing my best, but we'll get it all sorted out. But do prepare to be maybe disappointed. Sorry. Um, okay, let's get dressed. So we are going to start, both of you ladies, could you please put on a boxy top? Yeah. 
So what we decided to do was go longest to shortest. Nope, I lied, we're going shortest to longest. And uh, we're just gonna see what styles suit them and maybe even talk about what colors you think work best with your customers because they have so much experience trying these types of clothes on with their customer base. And I think we should be sharing this live later with them so you'll be able to see it on both streams. So here we go. How do we feel about the boxy top? Lynn, you get to go first. Okay. Okay. Yep, here we go. So what do we think? Mm. So for me, be I, honest. I always find these a little short for me yes. because I'm so long waisted. Yep. That where it hits me, uh, I see too much of this going on. Yes. And, and I, think, I actually love this uh -huh. if it was a tuck in on a jean. Oh. And actually so, I could see with the French tuck it yeah. would look so really if you did nice. A French tuck on this, I think this would be amazing. Yeah, and that's a great layering piece. Like yeah. if you need something to just yeah. wear underneath a sweater yeah. or you know, some, something to start as a base and, and then get you ready for other yeah. weather. This is a great piece. Yeah. And I think that that's trans-seasonal because it's got the black, it's got yeah. the blue. Um, so you could definitely wear it in the winter with darker pieces, but you could also brighten it up yeah. in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And I would, I would probably want to wear it uh, like a, either a short sleeve tee. Underneath or, it? Or, or a three quarter. In because the, I don't yeah. really like to show my arms very much. Okay. So I would probably do like a light color or a denim color or Oh uh, yeah, that would be really nice. So if you decided to do that, so I'm sitting on the floor, you guys will have to <laughs> have to not mind that. So you could even wear something that comes down to about here, which yeah, would add exactly. a bit of Give length a little to bit it. Of yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what does the back of that top look like? Because these tops, as you know, are reversible. So this is identical front and back. So that's good to know. So there you go. Now we know. So this is a yes if it were a little bit longer or if there were a French top and as long as you could wear something under it that covers your arm. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. here okay. we go. Vicky is also wearing a... <laughs> that looks so cute on you. <laughs> what do you, do you think? think? Yeah. Well, see, I would think that it's too short for me to yes. because this yes. is my biggest part. But you know what? Nobody sees it. For, I know I know you know it's there and I, I'm right there with you. When I, when I know it's there, I'm assuming it's what everybody's looking at. Yeah. Oh, if you had... Uh, Simply under there, where it's longer. Yeah, but, um, that, that, you know, that would, that would look great. Really and yeah. because this is because this is longer on the sleeve, you could get away from not wearing it. Should have just one of them. So Margot is saying that crop tops look really great with wide pants. It, you know, yes. is, Margo, can you guys hear us okay? Because um, it's a little echoey in here. So if you can't hear us, let us know. Um, we'll try to speak up. Um, so you were saying to wear it with some sort of an underpinning that goes a little yeah. bit longer. Yeah. 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 That would definitely work. I find that ladies our age prefer something that's got a little bit more coverage. I'm glad you <laughs> put me in with the your oh, age Oh, yes. Thing. You are so Since young. I started a company 50 years ago. Oh, <laughs> good. Yes. Yeah. So they say they can hear you. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you, Margo. Um, so, yeah, I think it looks really sweet on you. I think if you had high-waisted pants that were wider, right, mm -hmm. so that you didn't end up looking like, like this, there. but you'd end up looking like that, it would yeah. work. Um, but yeah, I feel the same way. I find that the yoga crowd really love that top and the younger girls, and even the very, very much older women. Um, but there's something about like 10 years before menopause and 10 years after menopause where that, where that top is touch and go. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so if you wanna take that off, and um, as you know, the reason that we make that top is because it uses the least amount of fabric. So whenever we have some fabric left over, we try to make the maximum use of it. So we create these boxy tops. But I was talking to Unchil today and we were talking about front tie tops and how so many of you wish that for the front tie top, there was something about the same length, but with a different cut. So Unchil and I are gonna work on that when I go to India. So as you know, I'm leaving on the 31st and I have a few days with her and we have a long list of things we're gonna accomplish. Um, so which piece are you guys putting on next? High low. High low tops. So this one that Lynn is wearing is one of my absolute favorites. I feel like you need to get your arm through here. Mm -hmm. Let me see the other slide. Yeah. So I feel like this piece does not translate well to camera. It is so vivid and beautiful, but I feel like it looks a little mustardy on camera. Now, how do you feel about the high-low style? Yeah, Maybe like not the this. color. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah. This is so easy. Yeah. Like, you could wear this on the beach over your, over your, as a cover-up. Yeah. You could wear it at night over, you know, a little dress. Yeah, I really like dress. this little swoopy thing that's it's going on cute. here. Yeah. 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 And I was showing a cut another customer that you could kind of, like, if you didn't want to have too much money, and that makes it asymmetrical. Yeah, it makes it asymmetrical. And I, I uh, had a customer who uh, was a little bit more petite, and this really worked well. So, 
for petite ladies. Oh yeah, that does look really cute. Yeah. That looks really cute. Yeah. I it's so funny, you guys always come up with the best ways to wear things. I yeah, love that. I love it and I love this color. It's really yeah, isn't it's it really nice? nice? It's such a rich, yeah. vibrant color, yeah. but it's not like in your face. Yeah, and I think with having this uh, piece of the board up there, I'm on the board, I love it. It's, it's it looks so sweet. Yeah, and I think it really emphasizes that there is a sweep through there. Yeah. So okay, for this style. It's a yes? Yes, definitely. Definitely a yes. yes. Okay, yes. so there we know. This style works. And I'd now, probably even try a belt with it because I have a very small waist. You so could. I could do a belt on this. You could totally do a belt on that. Yeah. And it looks really nice because of that border at the bottom too, the way it was all kind of scrunched yeah. and ruffly. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, Vicky, there you are standing back Ooh, there looking wow. freaking sensational. Look at Look this that. print. Wow. Isn't that? Wow. What, what generation do you think that that fabric is from? To me, that feels like 90s or 80s. I don't know either. You guys sometimes know that. I, I just, it does feel like it is. The thing I find interesting is about having that one and having this one. Is that one looks really dressy. Yes. Wearing to go to. And this one's much more casual. Yes. So you can see that you could, you could totally, more, yes, make yeah, it go yeah. either way. But yes, yeah. that looks so dressy on you. It looks like you really like really, really try yeah <laughs> which is funny because all of us have been here oh i have the squiggle side in the caftan and i love it so that's this one. Oh, who said that oh heather oh that's nice um yeah wow that looks so good on you so good on you. incredible okay so wait we have to ask is that a yes then is that a style oh, you would this wear is a yes a yes this would be a yes for a whole lot of yeah people. it's so yeah. great and it's one piece you throw yep. it on you're good to go yep. That's why we designed it, because as most of you know, um, everybody liked kind of the flowiness of the jackety styles, but then you had to figure out what top you were going to wear underneath, and that's a lot more work than not having to figure it out. So throwing on something like that gives you all the effort, the, looking like you put in some effort when you actually put in yes, zero it's, effort. Yeah, it's effortless. It is effortless, yeah. And you know what I liked about that one with the black in it is you're wearing it over black. I could easily see that silk piece worn into winter and yes. nobody would say like, oh, that's out of season. Yeah. Okay, now we have a side tie top. Now, Lynn is wearing the side tie top with the V to the front. And now this has the longer sleeve length you like, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, I feel like this should be untied. What do yeah, you think? I think, like, I think I it's think getting a little goofy. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because of my bottom problem. <laughs> you don't have my a bottom Kim problem. My Kim Kardashian bottom. <laughs> if Kim can rock a big bottom, anyone can rock a big yeah, bottom. Yeah, I like it like this better. Yeah, I like it like that better on you too. I think it looks so much nicer. Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about the overall look of that? I do. I like it. Yeah, I do like it. So but again, you know, I could wear this easily on the beach, or I could be going out to dinner. Yeah. It would be very nice for a wide leg pant. If you, don't take it off yet. If you were to kind of put this together and tuck it in like a blouse, how would that work? So you could make it like the whole thing more blousy? Because that's one of the benefits of working with silk. If you tuck it in, you're, n oh yeah, see, it looks so cute. Um, if you tuck it in, it doesn't add any bulk. So it gives you that much more versatility in how you're wearing it. So what I was thinking when I saw Lynn in this is that it looks nice on her, but I feel like she would do better in a sheer fabric just because her body is kind of yeah. tiny on the inside. And so when you have those wider sleeves, they seem to emphasize a width that she does not have. Um, so a sheer fabric might work better. And I definitely like it better with the V to the back. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I do that? too. I, I like that. Sleeve. Yeah. I, I, me too. And, and it's nice because you could wear it either way. Now the fabric is the same front and back, so that works really well. What, I know some people have tied little knots and I have to kind of scooch over. Um, here, so I can't, I'm sitting, I'm wearing a vest and I'm sitting on it and it's making it hard to move. So right here, if you turn it inside out before you put it on and put the tiny little knot oh, there, yeah, okay. then that okay. narrows that just a smidge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it makes it more like a... Like yeah. And this fabric is, because it's got, I don't know if you guys can see it, come close to the camera for a second. Yeah. So it's got a jacquard print in it, so it makes it just a little bit thicker, which is why it's not draping quite as much. It's still a soft fabric, but it doesn't have that buttery kind of a drape. Mm -hmm. But I think if you had one with more of a buttery drape, it would definitely show your lines more clearly. The other thing I've seen recently has been the um, people are using their hair bands. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then doing that little thing on the inside and making a little spot. Yeah, scrunching is a good idea. Oh yeah, 
Now, if you were wearing something like that wasn't as big as a scrunchie. Yeah, it's because the scrunchie's it's because so the big. Scrunchies it used to be like a little here. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of like what the young girls are doing right now yeah. where they tie a knot in their t-shirts. Yeah. It's yeah. the same idea. Same idea. That looks adorable. So, for the style, yes or no? Um, I would say it would depend on the fabric. I yes. Think if you, I would like this a little bit more sheer. Yes. But I do love this print. It's yeah. really vibrant. I think the print is lovely. I think the length is really nice. Yeah, it's good length. I feel like it needs a little more drape, and it might be nice if it were sheer for you, yeah. especially because you're so narrow through the shoulders. Yeah. All right, come on up, Vicky. I have a sheer one. Oh, and it's was... so lovely. See, I, with the sheer, yes, you have to wear something under it, but it just is so That's flattering. Oh, yes. It's just so flowy. Yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. And see how the sleeves drape a little more on yes. this one because it's a drapier fa fabric? Because on Lynn, this kind of was pokey up a little. Yeah. Uh, but on you, all of the, it does what it, it was designed to do, which is drape on the underside. Yes. Um, it's very nice. Now, how do you feel about having the ties there? How do I feel? Yeah, like, would you leave them tied? Would you leave I'd them leave untied? Them, you like them tied. tied. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Would you ever wear it asymmetrically with one tied and one not tied? Nope. No. <laughs> she didn't need to think about that. Nope. <laughs> okay. And what if you, you have the V at the front? Is that something you're comfortable with, or would you ever have the round at the front? Well... I could do either way. You're okay either way? Yeah. I kind of like the V on you, though. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really sweet. Okay, so this style, yes, no, maybe. Yes. Yes. It's this another yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're into waterfall tops, everyone. This is so easy for me. You know how I usually have to stand up? This was the only space for me. So, like, this is a big win. Okay, here we have Lynn in a waterfall top. So the nice thing about this is it's got the two panels at the front, which means it kind of gives you that column look so that you don't end up being boxy. Um, definitely has these great slits on the side so that if she needed to get to pocket, she could. What I really like about this piece is if you flip it around, it's all black, uh, which is kind of a neat piece of clothing to have, especially if you're gonna put a jacket on it. Um, Catherine says you look great. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Yeah, I, I like it that way too, right? There. That's kind of neat. And then you could just put some fun jewelry with some yellow on it. Can we turn around and see the back? Okay, I really like the florals at the back, everyone. I don't know how everyone else feels, but uh, I love that floral at the back. It's kind of like a little surprise when you turn around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I yeah. like this length. It looks very much like a tunic. Yeah, I, I have to say I prefer this over the boxy top. Yeah, no, I, I know. my shape. That's, I feel like once you get to a certain age, it's hard to pull off the boxy top yeah. unless you've got like the yeah. body for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's adorable. I mean, this one, because it has these little bits so you could always put the belt halfway around. Yeah. You have the belt in the back. Right? Oh, that's so true. Yeah. Well, and when I wear this style, I actually tuck this front side. Sorry, I didn't mean to tickle you. I tuck this front side into my pants. I, I okay. pleat it like this. So I'll show you how I pleat it. So this is for you guys, too. You, It's an Indian sari pleat. So you hold it here, and you just go back and oh, forth. Yeah. And then once you've done that, you tuck that in. And it gives you um, an option to have a shorter front. Uh, whatever, yeah, however you feel. Like it. That looks cute. It looks like a little knot in there, right? And then the back is long. That's so sweet. I like how it's the same length as your skirt. Mm. Okay, so this top in a crepe silk. Yes, no, maybe. Yes. Yes, another yes. We have a yes. <laughs> okay. And Vicky, here we go. Same top. Same top. Uh, that color looks phenomenal on you. You know someone's happy when they try something on when they do that little dance that she's doing. You see it? You see that little dance? I love that, <laughs> I love that on you too. It, I love it. I love the color. I love how it brings out the color in your eyes. I love that stripe down the center. I thought this was sold, but if not, can I add it to my order? Okay. All right, Margo. I, as soon as I'm done, I will let you know. Okay. Okay. We may have just added it back to inventory. I wonder which one she's talking about. We'll the figure it out. Maybe. maybe the black one. So, um, okay, Vicky, was that a yes? That's a yes. Oh, that is so much a yes, and I really like the sheer. Um, Cafe Je Tem, whose name I don't know, um, it says that it looks really nice on you. So I think it's poncho next. Yeah. Okay, so now Lynn is wearing the poncho tunic length, which means she's wearing it with it slightly longer in the front and the back, and now she's wearing it asymmetrically. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> just to keep you on your just toes. Just yeah, right? keep me on my toes. Um, yeah. And uh, what I actually, I picked this color for her because I know that it's kind of like rusts and peaches. Oh, Imelda, hi Imelda. 
nice to meet you. Have you been to the store? Do I know you from the store? Because maybe you should visit. I would love to meet you. Um, yeah, so this, I, I've done that too, where I poke one end up and through. Yeah, it depends what you're wearing. If you've yeah. got a beautiful dress and you want to show off that you want something to cover your arms yeah. and your shoulders, because it's cool. Yeah, that it's looks... Really neat way to it is a neat it way to do it. It like a little poncho. Hi, Jackie. Oh, are you guys all going to share your names? That would be so cool. Oh, I saw you at the trade show yesterday. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, well, yeah, if you guys want to share your names, I would love it if you guys, because you know me, I, you need a contest. How many ways can you wear? Absolutely. And I, I think there are an infinite number of ways. Um, okay, so this color. I thought it would look really good on Lynn because it matches kind of the rosy shades in her skin. Um, and she's been heading towards um, yellows, actually, mostly. Uh, but I thought this would be really sweet. So I feel like it contrasts a bit with your hair because your hair is so cool toned. Um, and this is so warm toned. So right now she spun it around again when I wasn't looking. And, um, and uh, what she's done is she's wearing it so that it is almost like a kimono sleeve top and then she tied just one arm but left the other arm hanging, which is also, you know, with the drape of the fabric, it looks so nice. This is a beautiful um, silk. It is a beautiful silk. silk, yeah. And that one's a crepe silk, so it's not, uh, you yeah, the pattern on that is beautiful, too. Yeah, it has to be up close. Yeah, let's see it up close. You have to come closer. Really pretty. There. So you can see it's kind of got a floral pattern in black that's printed on top of the sari, which is mottled flowers in different shades of brown and rust and red. There. Um, yeah, that looks really nice on you. So that's a yes. Ponchos are yes. Ponchos are a yes. Okay, Vicky, poncho time. Vicky is wearing her poncho, which is sheer again. It looks like Vicky is heading towards the shears. Um, she's wearing it uh, asymmetrically right now. And how do we feel about it? Well, I wanted to show off the border here. Yes, it looks and really nice. I also tucked it into my sleeves. Oh, so smart. So it won't spin. Yeah. That's very clever. I like how you pulled down the front. It's a little stacky. But I like how you pulled down the front a little more. That looks it's really sweet back. too. Maybe I missed the back end. There. You look good in everything. That's a problem you have, right? Oh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, but that looks really sweet, sweet on you. Work. Yeah, yes, they definitely it's a, work. It's a beautiful design. Yeah, it's a beautiful design. So, and that, because it's a poncho, she can spin it around and wear it as a top. She could wear it as a tunic. She could also wear it as a scarf. Do either of you guys know how to wear one of those as a scarf? Yes. Do you want to give it a try, yep. Vicky? What? Okay. So Lynn is going to help Vicky wear that as a scarf. Oh, see, and I never put it on like that. That's a good idea. Did you put your the? Choose the, the neck. You use the neck to do yes. it. And then you, they don't put the pennies on. Oh my gosh! I had see. I I never thought of that. Did you see what she did? That's the awareness of the pro awesomeness of the product that you can wear it a hundred ways. I think so too, because otherwise, I mean, clothing is about being excited in what you wear. And if you have the same piece and wear it a hundred ways, you have a hundred different ways to get excited. So that is the coolest thing ever. I show you guys how to wear the poncho as a scarf all the time, and I have never done it that way. Okay. So what, what Lynn did is she, I'm going to have to stand up. So give me a second. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm getting there. Okay. So what Lynn did, we're going to have to do this in slow-mo. So this is a poncho, so it has a neck there. So did you grab it in a special spot or just anywhere? Okay, so she put her hand through the neck hole and then put it around the neck and then reached through that neck hole to grab the rest of the scarf. Wow, that looks so good. How did I not know that? I'm so glad I asked you if how would you do it because I would have been like, here, let me show you and then I wouldn't have <laughs> yes. done it right. You can also. Oh, that's a French loop tie. Yeah, we all know. show you that if you take it from the point to point, you end up with like two long points in the action date. Okay, I'm so impressed. Did you guys catch that? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that again in slow motion. So what she did, that is so cool. Okay, so when she, this is the, our loop. We have our loop here, right? This is the neck hole. And this is what's left over. So what Lynn did is she just took one of those ends that's left over and put it through and then tied that to this end like that. And then 
then you get that whole other layer in there, right? Yeah. Wow. That looks so nice. I would buy that just for the scarf. It's just such yeah. a great travel piece because yeah. you know you feel cold in the evening, you go in a hot place, you're cool, you put that on, you yeah. use it as a scarf if you get a cool day, or you want to dress up like a, a neckline up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's oh, I just, I it's love so tying it that way. I think I will only ever tie it that way yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, yeah, they're all saying wow and amazing. Yeah, I know. How, how did the rest of us have that piece for so long and not figure that out? Okay, so now we're doing kimono sleeve tops. Aren't they nice? You can tell that they're in the business because they're doing all the hanging up and <laughs> sorting and everything by themselves and I just get to sit here. Okay, so this is the kimono sleeve top. I love this fabric. It's yeah, kind of a I magenta. I chose this one because I love the trim on there. Look. Yeah, that's so pretty. Just beautiful. And you could wear that side to the front as well, yes, right? Yes, So this it's is such pretty. a rich, rich fabric. I like this color on you a lot. Yeah, I do wear this color. Yeah, like it, it really, it's really brings really out the nice purples color. in your hair. Yeah. Yeah, love it. And this one is a sheer one that she's trying on. I kind of like it with that in the front too. I feel like it adds like some fun definition there. Yeah, that looks great. That looks great. Is so that top? Yes, no? I wouldn't buy it for myself. No. I feel like you need to have a little bit more of a group. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I do. I think that it would look better on something just a little bit bigger than me. So but you I are very, very, very narrow. I'm very small through here. Yeah. Uh, and I think it would look really nice on someone who had a little bit more of a um, shape at the top. Yeah. yeah. You know what would be really yeah, cool? I feel a little overwhelmed. But I, I love the color. I love the fabric. Everything about it. Yeah. Great. Because I was thinking, because if you were to wear, do you mind putting your arms back in? Mm -hmm. If you were wearing a poncho that was similar to this, you could, because of how narrow you are, take these two ends and tie them behind your back. Mm -hmm. Have you yeah. tried that yet? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, that would totally work on you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Thank you. So, yes, that makes it more fancy. It does, right? That border. So, it is a no for Lynn because she feels like the fabric overwhelms her a bit. Okay. Another yes for you? Okay, she looks good in everything, Lynn. I hope she's one of your models. <laughs> Okay, so you may have noticed a color trend with Vicky. We are fans sure. of blue over here. Um, shoulder pads underneath would make it drape better. Oh, yeah, I think that's a really good point. If you do have narrow shoulders, it does add to that drape if you don't have, because you, you have such tiny little, you're so petite through the top. Yeah, this looks beautiful on you. How do you feel about it? Um, well, I like it, but this wouldn't be what I would choose for myself. Okay, so why? Because they'll want to know. Um, just because it's short. And okay. I think it makes me look wide. Oh. Yeah. I mean. So I think if you were wearing one that was crepe, I, I could see that it may make you look wide. Maybe what you can't see, put your arms out. That's what everybody else is seeing, is that you are totally not wide. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it well, looks cute. It's I think lovely. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. color. Now, what some people do is they tie knots into these bottom corners to just add a little bit more definition there, and that kind of brings it in. If you find that it's here, I'll make it. So it's going to be hard to do on that side because of the price yeah. tag. Um, usually you do it from the inside. Hi. And then you add it to it. That adds a little bit of narrowness to it and a bit more shape. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think that, when, you know, when it's tied like that, it actually looks really cool. What do you think? Yeah, I, look, I like this one, Vicky. I, I would just like a longer top. Yeah, just a longer yeah. top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah, it's beautiful. It's I find that the um, Orange Village high-low tops are really nice for having that longer top. Did you guys have a look there? Were we talking about it? Yep. Yeah, there's, they're nice, eh? Yep. The Orange Village ones. Okay, so this is a shrug. Uh, lovely green color with lots of embroidery. And um, it looks really nice on you. I like I that like green on one. you. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that this one comes down. So, I, you know, if I'm wearing like a little top, then it's, yeah. it shows that off. It does. Yeah, it definitely shows off how narrow but the I waist is. But I could make my mind up, so I've got two. You could what? You <laughs> could make my mind up. Oh, that's okay. You can try on both. Too. So, um, yeah, I really, I really like, like that one. on you. And it's funny because I had somebody try one of those on today. And they thought that it didn't stay on their shoulders because their shoulders were too narrow. 
but your shoulders are narrower than hers. So what I was now I'm thinking is she was wearing um, like she just had a tiny little strap. I think it's the fabric of your top underneath that's making it stay. Well, I also think it depends on whether you've got nice straight shoulders. Some people have sloped shoulders, yeah. and that's a problem. I've had that problem with my customers. Before. Okay. So yeah, maybe that's sometimes what it is. if they have a sloped shoulder, this is not the top for them. Right. Because of this being very narrow on the neckline. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So. We've learned something. Mm -hmm. If your shoulders are sloped, it may not. It may slip, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're going to try it on the other way around now with um, well, this to the top because you have the embroidered part. To the top. Oh, what are you doing here, fancy? <laughs> okay. I have not done that before. Yeah, it's cool. It is yeah. so cool. It's so it's kind of like a cowl neck. A cowl neck actually looks really good over a coat blazer. If you go now, <laughs> looks really good. Or a sharp. I'm so embarrassed. If you, if How did sharp, I not know? If you've got a little sharp, uh -huh. looks really good. Yeah. Let me see it from the back. Okay, we probably need to do a little pulling through here, but yeah. still. I can't see because we don't. Wow, and you know what it is again? It's the drape of it. Yeah, and and um, this pattern really gives that real definition because you can see. Yeah. Great. It makes it look so artsy. Yeah. Wow. That's really nice. And I am like, you can't tell, but I'm blushing because how did I not know for my own clothes <laughs> that you could do this? Okay. So how are we feeling in our purple one? And again, we notice we went with sheer. Yeah. You seem to gravitate towards the sheer ones and it's staying on your shoulders, which is nice. Yes. Now, what do you think of the style? Is this style you would wear? Uh, yes. I yeah. would wear it with a dress yeah I wanted to just cover your shoulders, shoulders. Yeah. yeah yes yeah. it looks so sweet yeah. Yeah. I love it in that fabric it's a very much a chiffon it's yes. beautiful okay so, so I was wondering about this I was first looking at it about getting my head in I haven't tried this well, before well, we this, this is what Lynn did is she put she didn't she oh, had it oh she had it on the shoulders but you're saying yeah. pull it to the front so it's almost you know, like a really big scarf, and then you can yeah. wear a jacket or something yes. over it. So it becomes almost like a blousy, scarfy thing. Yeah, wow. Be pretty That's really cool. Jacket. It really pretty, and that color is stunning. Yeah. Okay, two more wins. Okay, this is the I second one. Not, I could not make my mind up, so. Yeah, so what's really cool about this one, if you guys can see it, you're going to, let me see, I can do this. There. So it has this really beautiful border on it. Yeah, and, and I love this print. It's just so fantastic. Yeah, Shafali got the other end of this sari. And Did you? Yeah, because it's got little people on it. Look. Yeah, it's very cool. This is very, gorgeous. very cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a work of art. Yeah, it is. it is. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And so that's a sheer one. Let's see, stand back and let's have a look at how it is. I think that's really pretty. I like you and the sheer things better than the crepes. I feel like it really shows off kind of where your body ends. Yeah, I love this one. It's really, it's really pretty. It's very, very rich. Gorgeous. Okay, we're going to try another style now. What is that? That's shrug. That's the same thing. She, yeah, she did two yeah. shrugs. Okay. She couldn't she choose. I <laughs> <laughs> she All of us have been here all day, and it's amazing that these ladies are are doing this so energetically because again I'm getting to sit so this is pretty easy for me and they're doing all the hard work um, so now we are trying on kimono sleeve jackets yeah very nice okay so Lynn's gonna go first and Lynn what I like about yours is how it's kind of different on one side to the other side oh I love this one this yeah. is so fun so it's fun. kind of like a little bit more funky yeah and uh, edgy yeah, definitely. And I yeah, love, love that it. little bit of teal kind of in the flowers there. Can you guys see that? It's really pretty. There we go. My daughter just texted me that her roommate has COVID. So <gasps> that's not good. No, no. That's not good. Not good. Poor girl. She be right. Yeah. <laughs> so I that love, is I love adorable. This one. I love this one. Well, and you know, it's funny because my head just keeps popping in and out. What's funny is that a lot of petite customers feel like this piece is um, overwhelms their body frame, but I don't feel like that overwhelms you at all. No, I love it because you can feel the waist in. Yeah. You know, and then. And yeah, so, so she's got it so it's nice tied through the arms. Um, but yeah, that looks so sweet. Tied through the arms there. Yeah. So, yeah. Very nice. 
And you know what? I'm going to show you a little styling hack with that. Yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to have to stand up again. Okay, so, because I think this would look really sweet on you. So we're going to take this off. Mm -hmm. And once again, all the credit goes to our fabulous customers. I think this one goes out to Jackie, who figured this little styling trick out. Um, it's how you can turn one of these into a bolero jacket. Oh, so put cool. your arms this way. So basically, we've got it on backwards. Yep, okay. So just to walk you through it, she's just wearing it backwards. Nothing special yet. Then you're going to stop going on here. So oh, it must be the label stuff. Yeah. <laughs> got, it. got it. Okay. Then you're going to take this middle part. And oh, yeah, I've seen this. Yes, and then up over your head. Yeah. Now, once you drop this down, this is how you turn it into a bolero, though. So these these little slits at the side end up becoming the collar. So you do this. On yeah, the and the, yes. but the part that, like that looks cute like that. But the part that I really liked was when, see these two ends. That was kind of not pinned, but magneted over there. Mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. was magneted over there. Yeah. So you end up with almost like a blouse, right? Like how mm -hmm. cool is that? Yeah. It's just a fun little artsy top. Um, <laughs> it's great to see these fashion savvies. I know, right? This is the nice thing. Uh, she said, it's so great to see these fashion savvy ladies interpret your designs. It's true. Um, that's what I love about these shows is I get to meet people who are living this fashion life, working with customers and, um, and they're all in it because they love it, right? There's something about doing this that is inspiring to them. So there's a lot of positive energy around styling. Um, I love that. Um, with the little tie at the bottom yeah, there. I probably like to do a tie at the bottom for me. I, I think there's some people who maybe do the tie higher up, but yeah. I, for me personally, I think it's better down here. I love yeah, that. It looks very French. Cute. Yeah. And I like actually how the collar is asymmetrical yeah, when you yeah. put it on like that too. The other thing that um, we do in the store quite a lot is use the belt as like a little neck Necktie, yeah. Yeah. And actually this one is really beautiful because... Ellen, are you watching? Because I know you're a fan of that. Oh, and actually, Jacqueline, if you're out there, I know that you're thinking, yes, that's how I like to wear mine. Um, oh my really, gosh, yeah. Really fun. So is that part of it? Yep, that's a belt. Oh yeah, yeah, and look, yeah. it's on the edge there. Yeah. So this is actually sewn right into the fabric, these these lines of thread, because they're showing up on the end mm -hmm. of the sleeve it's too. Yeah, it's very, really very nice. Yeah. So yeah. beautiful. Thank you. That looks really nice. I like I that on this. you. It's lovely. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. Cool. And she is very petite on top, so it, it doesn't look too much. Nikki, hi Nikki, nice Hello. to see you. Wearing blue oh, again. Wearing blue again. <laughs> now this one is a crepe <laughs> silk. I feel really silly with my head popping in and out like this. Um, so yeah, I love that. Now you're wearing it with the tie through the arms again, yes. right? Just like yep. um, Lynn did. And how do you feel about it? Oh, you know what? You're inside out. And this will be a great time to talk about the quality of the piece. Come ah. close, come close, come close. So the nice thing about this brand, it, and oh, it gets worn inside yeah. out all the time because, let me grab the phone and show you. Um, those of you who are familiar with it know that we use French seams. So see that oh, right there? Yes, yes, yes. So you don't get that kind of raw edgy look or surged um, seam that lets you know that something is inside out. It kind of just disappears. So let's put that on the right, right way side. Oh, yeah, right way around. Oh, let me grab that for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the color's a little bit more vibrant this way. So yes. you know what I think would be nice on you? is okay standing up again i feel like for you i would like to see this tied together here okay just to add a bit more curve to the front don't you find that you get energy again when you start trying on clothes like it's just <laughs> maybe not <laughs> she's like no i'm exhausted um but yeah i like that little curvy thing there i would probably tie it so the knots on the inside yeah but I, I prefer that look on you to this square off look. Yeah. And actually, so if you have a look right here, the seam here is it needs off to go shoulder. back. Yeah, it needs to go back to there. And then I think we have to do this without a mirror. So yeah, it's so true. Yes, yes. they're they're at my mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks so sweet. I really like it when it's pulled back like that. And then with that little tie there, it's really flattering on you. How do you feel about the style? Like it? Like it? Okay. It's a yes. This style is a yes. I give you the belt. Okay. Okay. We are now on to cardigans. And Lynn likes green. Love green. Okay. So I'm, I can already tell from this 
that you have not tucked this back. So I do this to everybody. You want to take this V, turn around for a sec. You want to take this V here and if possible, drop it to between your shoulder blades. If you do that, and when you turn around again, what you're going to see is that this becomes a lot more angled, which is, I find is more flattering. And then you can even tie these two ends together if you wanted. Um, but when you pull it forward, it make, it boxes it out a bit. So it also looks good, but it just makes the hem a little yes. straighter. Okay. So you get to choose. Yeah. Um, and you know that that style looks great upside down too, right? Yeah, I was just going to say, I bet it's the same thing as before. It is. It's yes. very much. You put yeah, it on yeah. the other way around and then scrunch. That color's great on you. Yeah, I love green. Yeah. Isn't it almost St. Patrick's Day or did I miss it? Uh, 17th of March. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yep. Scrunch over. I'll pull back down for you. And then you end up with, there you go, there's your two towels. It's not cool. Yeah, that's so it's cool. cool. It's a totally different look, eh? Yep, totally. Yeah, yeah it looks it gorgeous. Too. Yeah, it's very fun. Okay, so the style, yes or no? Yeah, yes. Yes. Definitely. Okay, and Vicky has had some fun it's playing with her. Because you can wear it so many times. Yeah, I know, the cardigan is so easy. Yeah. Yeah, I love that on you. How fun is that? Very well, and that fabric is so thin, yes. like it's so fine that it drapes beautifully. I love it. Yeah, I love that's it. Pretty. Like that. Did you want to try yours on upside down? Oh sure. yeah, you could do that I was too. Actually, thinking about that. you know what might be nice is if you tied it. too bulky through the front, but uh, yeah, you want to drop that loop down a bit. Yeah. This is very cute. Pretty. That fabric is beautiful. beautiful. The way that it fabric. kind of tones into yes. each other and offers in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. That looks lovely. Nicole says that looks lovely. <laughs> yeah, that's a great picture. Now Lynn is wearing a vest as a top. That's another one of those I really find this just so versatile. When yeah. I show customers how this uh, fits, yep. and you can do all these different things, it's like a no-brainer for them. Yeah, it is. It is a no-brainer. Everybody should have so one vest. Easy. And I actually love this yellow. Yeah. Black on there. It's not It's, very, it's a very buttery it's yellow, so, isn't it? I know I have it probably inside out, actually. Uh, so it, is inside out. it is inside out. And the only way you can tell is from the seam. And sometimes with some of the fabrics, you can tell if it inside, it's inside out because it's slightly duller on the on the wrong side. Oh yeah, that looks so cute on you. Yeah, I love this. I think this is just fabulous. Like, and you could belt that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you would be, yeah, that yeah. would be beautiful belted like on that, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Adorable, adorable. And it adds such a pop of color to a black mm -hmm. outfit. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. that one's a yes. Okay. Yep, so you're wearing it so that, um, let me see, yes. So Vicky is wearing her vest so that it is longer at the front and a little shorter at the back so we can see her bum. But if she were to flip, no, it's okay, your bum looks great. Um, <laughs> if we were to flip it, then it would be longer at the back and a little shorter at the front. So that looks so sweet on you. I love it. This is beautiful color. Yeah, beautiful color. And beautiful drape. Yeah. The drape on that is stunning. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm guessing that's also a yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. See, I knew that color would be nice on you. Oh. I had to talk her into this color. I love it. I love the grays. I love the blacks. I love the purples. Everything about that is amazing. So that is a duster for those of you who don't know. Um, you're not a fan of the color though, are you? I, no, actually, I like it. It's do not you? a color I would normally have chosen, but I do like it. Oh, it just, it brightens your face so much. Oh, that's kind of neat. So you just tied it across the back and then drew it back that way. Yeah. So that it's just, yeah, just kind yeah, of so lightly so framing again, you across. Again, if you just wanted to have a little dress on, yeah. have it look, you know, So, 
This is a really good idea for um, ladies who've been saying that they feel like it's a little bit too much fabric in the duster and the jacket. Because when, what's, so what Lynn's done is she's put the belt through the arms and then tied it around the back instead of around the front, which essentially cinches the waist, right? So you could, yeah, and the other thing you can do is put it through the, the other way. So you have the belt not from the inside, but from the outside, and then take the and then around the back. It's hard to do without seeing the Okay, explain that to me again. How are you doing it? So, you're gonna... Do you want... Yeah, you've got... It's in there. It's in the sleeve. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. It's in that sleeve, too. the inside, so that you're showing the belt on the outside. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. your bum Yeah, okay. So, what she did there, for those of you who missed that little sleight of hand, is she put the belt across the back, tucked it in through the sleeves, and then instead of tying it in the front, she just gathered it across the back again. So she's used the belt to kind of cinch the back of it, um, and then left the front just draped open. So that's how you get the, the narrower look. So Jackie, if you are watching this, maybe this is a good tip for you. So actually, I'm gonna show you another tip that Jackie came up with. So okay. she had this really neat idea this style because she's like you she's quite narrow and what she did I haven't tried it yet she told me about it and I'm like yes I must try that super dry get rid of the belt and what she suggested doing see this little kind of part that jumps out a little bit here and here she just tied a little knot in that and that's how she added a bit more definition around the waist area so got rid of the belt altogether, but did that. Yeah. It's cute, right? Mm -hmm. That's very beachy. Like it that. is a very beachy boho vibe. With the belt, mm -hmm. it looked a little mm -hmm. bit more structured. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, it's very cute. <sighs> okay. So there we go. That one's sweet. Okay. Oh, I love... Oh! Oh, another belt trick, everyone. Another belt trick. So you just put yes. the belt on you. On me. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I love the flowy. Oh my god, the back okay. of that one is so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's wonderful. It's such a, like, I like the front. It's, it's dark and it's gorgeous, but the back is like, I don't even know how to describe that. It's so beautiful. Wow. And you know what makes it so nice is the contrast. Um, because if you had just the lighter back, uh, you'd be like, oh, it's a light color. Or the darker one, you'd be like, oh, it's a dark color. Um, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's, I love the belt there. So you still get that little hit of color. Yes. But, and, it, and you get some definition, but you don't see everything because the sides are covered with the duster. Yeah. I love it. And the length is fine on you. So you're 5'5", five five, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. It's long, but I love it. Now. Yeah. And if you wanted to shorten it, you would tie those edges together the same way I did with the shorter um, piece so that it would just lift it up ever so slightly. Yes, that's lovely on you. You ladies look great in everything. Oh, oh and you did a little tuck there. Nice. So this is a tunic length caftan. I yeah, love that. Because again, fabric. I feel like that's too much for me. Yeah. My small frame. frame. Yeah. Definitely um, like some sort of a pinch with a, um here, here's yeah. another scrunchie. Okay. Yeah. And then if it were flatter, yeah, it would be it's, uh, it's the scrunchie. The scrunchie's very yeah. Big. No, that looks adorable. And I was saying that this would be sweet the other way around. Yeah. Because what, um, see how you've got that band of color across mm -hmm. your shoulders? I feel like it widens you a little bit. Yeah, I do want to show just this fabric for you though, because it's so beautiful. It's got little sequins on there, and it's actually got lots of uh, embroidery. It's really gorgeous. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. And it feels lovely, this fabric. And I think we had a boxy top that sold today, and we had a long caftan, a midi-length caftan in that, that also sold today. So this is the last one in that fabric. See, I kind of like it this way better uh, because it's mostly patterned. Let's see. Yeah, you definitely need something going on there. I find that with you, your body and the crepe ones, it can be a little bit much. I really feel like going with the, yeah, I like that actually. That looks sweet on you. That's, That's so much better. Very nice. Somebody needs to stamp this one up because yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, and yeah, look at you on this the one. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I love Isn't it. So artsy looking. Yeah. Like a watercolor painting. Yeah. 
Yes, that's gorgeous. So, so that is also a sh uh, tunic length caftan. And this one's sheer, as opposed to the one that Lynn was wearing. Yes, I love sheer. it. And you're wearing it with V to the back. I have V to the back, and I, ah! I love the stripes going across the back. Yes. And then, you know, then you get the watercolor flowers. Yeah. Oh, I love it on you. That's beautiful. And look how fancy she looks, and she's just wearing, like, a black top and leggings. <laughs> like, the, the world's easiest underpinning. Yes. Yes, that is adorable. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Nice. Okay, boxy baby doll dress coming up. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Oh, look at that. So, again, the yellows and the blues. Um, I feel like it does look a little boxy on you. What do you, do you feel like it's I a lot? I feel like it's a little too much for me, personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then we have the other style. Which yeah, is, but I actually think the reason it's too much for you is because of this patch through the maybe. center. I'm just going to go find something else for her to try on. Okay. Hi, Jan. Uh, give me one second and let's see. I think it's just in that baby doll dress, the, the color blocking is what's making it um, not as drapey down, but kind of more rectangular. Oh, I love that blue. Yeah. Now, that's the same color as something else you tried on, yes, right? Yes, it is. Yes. So let's find that piece. Yes. So for those of you who are new to the brand, um, the reason that these two are the same fabric is that they are made out of the same sari. So we can usually make two to three pieces out of each one. So these are two of the three pieces that exist. And then once they're gone, they're gone because we can never find the same vintage sari again. Well, it's happened once or twice, but not, all, not often enough to count. That looks adorable. I, now, I have this dress at home, not in this color. Yeah, yeah, it looks really sweet on you. Um, and what I like about the one that Vicky is wearing is that it's a crepe silk. So she doesn't really need to wear anything underneath it. So it'll be really cool in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like it looks good on you. Like, it doesn't seem like too much. What do you think? No, no, You're comfortable? Yes. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Yes. yes. And it would be nice if I didn't have all these underpants yeah. under it. Yes. Yeah. You'd look very breezy. Yes. Love it. Lynn, so much better. Oh, way better. Way better. Way better. So there you go. Even this one, I feel like we could still do better with the pattern. I feel like you need something that kind of just has one line that goes straight through that way. Um, this one's very cute, though. Back. Yeah, it is. And these little yeah, kind of... It's got this little black line down, line the side, down there. Yeah. very cute. It is cute. And that matches your lips exactly. <laughs> it does. That is lipstick? A, yes. Line I came on camera. She raised the bar. I'm like, no, we've been here all day. We don't have to look good. We just need to do this. And she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So much better. I think uh, for that one, when you're as slim framed as you are, and you, if you want to wear the boxy baby doll, it really comes down to finding the right pattern. Uh, I think the next one is the self pocket dress. Okay, so the self pocket dress. I cannot tell you how silly I feel doing this all the time. <laughs> okay, so the self pocket dress is the next style we're trying on. fabric is very very it's, soft so soft it's very soft it's got a little nap to it uh-huh uh, cute pocket yeah gorgeous colors definitely something you could wear I, in the summer I would pair it with the taupey colors and in the winter I would go with the darks um, and I love that I think I've shown you guys this fabric before how it's kind of got the little circles like bubbles that are woven right into the fabric it's beautiful great silk on that yeah it's gorgeous it's silk. gorgeous i love that line down through the it front feels like suede yeah it does feel like suede yeah, yeah. one of my customers calls it pudding it feels like pudding <laughs> <laughs> see cute. i would wear this one more than the baby doll yes i think that it has a similar look yes but it's not as big for me no so i feel like i would wear that one and i think that this is a good way to wear it for me yes it has this panel down in front. yeah i agree the panel is really flattering Okay, and here's Vicky looking great and everything again. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yes. Now, um, Vicky's is sheer. Yeah. To wear to a wedding. Yeah, it'd be yeah. perfect for a wedding. It really would be. 
really, really sweet on you. Just need a little slip under. Yeah, you need a slip and um, just a fancy necklace. Yep. You'd, be you'd be gorgeous in it. So that one is sheer. So as you know, oh, Jan says you look amazing. Could be, could be either of you because you both look amazing. Um, but um, that we just started making in the sheer fabric, so we just kind of did a test run. But it's really they look great. You need to make a little silk slip. So we have started carrying a slip, not in silk because we'd have to bias cut it, and then we don't know who it would fit, and then we end up being longer and shorter. But we found a really nice one from Blue Sky. Uh, that Canadian company that sells bamboo and they've yes. got an adorable little slip now. So we started carrying that, but they don't have it in nude. They only have it in black, but it's nice. Ooh, look at you. Okay, midi length caftan coming down. Oh, I love so that on fun. you. I love it. I actually wanted to pick this one out so that people can see how the repairs happen and yes. how pretty they are. So yes, and it actually adds patches. to the uh, actually adds to the design. I think. Yeah, absolutely. So, no, it's it looks so smudge. sweet. Yeah, it's really it's gorgeous detail. Color. I love that on you. I'd probably, again, maybe even sometimes wear a belt with that. Yeah. Maybe, you know, like so one of the problems with this style and a belt, and we've talked about this a lot, is if you belt it, you lose arm movement. Yes, yes. Unless, so, unless you take the belt up, you know, unless you maybe have this up. Yeah, then that does. That helps. I, again, it depends on where you raised it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we've talked in the past about cinching it. Uh, those slip dresses feel fantastic. Yes, I know, I'm so excited about them. And I think the shipment of the rest of them, the blue sky we're waiting for, I think it arrived today because I got a call, but I don't know because I'm here. Um, so yeah, you can do that thing where you do the, like uh, getting it pinched from the inside here to add a little bit more interest. But another thing you can do is bring it together here and use a pin either here or up there and use that to narrow it so slightly. Um, but yeah. Or maybe even off to the side like that. Yeah, I think to the side. Yeah, especially with this fabric. Side, yeah. Yeah. Yes, those slip dresses are so soft and comfy. I everybody yeah. loves them. Yeah, if you they're from Blue Sky, it's a Canadian company. Um oh I love it. I Thank love you. it. Yeah, I love it on you. It's adorable. Look at you in that one. So here comes another sheer one. Um now you really like this pattern. What drew you to that pattern? It's a sen sensational pattern. Yeah. Um, my whole life has been about prints. Right. And uh, this is great. You know, this poppy print on top of the stripe. Yeah. It just is uh, kind of zany and fun. It is zany and fun, isn't yes. it? And then that little bit of gold is just yes. like the gilding of the lily. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Love it. And I like the elongating um, yes. effect of the stripe as well. Yes. Are you guys done? Okay. Look at, they were very fast. And that, that was actually really, really fast. Um, so what do you guys think? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. So much fun today. Really? Yes. Thank you. Great. Oh, my pleasure. Um, so when will you guys be back? When will your customers be able to shop this brand? Uh, well, we'll be back, um, we leave on Wednesday night, but I won't have it in the store until after the weekend. Okay, so after the weekend. have it on my website yet? Or yes. Yes, and they picked some beautiful pieces. Honestly, they were one of the first ladies here this morning, um, yesterday, yes. and they went, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So they really grabbed all the best pieces. Sorry for my friends out there, but if you wanted to see those pieces, they have them now. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful pieces. And now tell us more about Mahone Bay. Why should oh, we go yes. visit? Oh. Well, okay. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful tourist town yep. on the Atlantic coast. Yeah. Mahone Bay. We live in the town of Mahone Bay and our store is there, but Mahone Bay itself, this big bay, is reputed to have 365 islands. I haven't counted wow. them. And a number of beautiful towns. We're close to Lunenburg and Chester. Um, and it's known as the town with three churches right on the waterfront. So you'll oh, see it wow. in tourist, yeah. you know, yeah. Canadian tourism. Yes, we well, have, to have to go. We have there. to go to Mahone Bay. It's Absolutely. A town. And it's, yeah. uh, in the top 10 places to visit in Canada, I think it was like oh, number three. That's amazing. Yeah, it's so, so friendly. Um, we have a, our own little visitors information centre that's run by uh, the town. Uh -huh. um, well, Chandler, and your store Chandler, is one of the tourist Chandler attractions. Country. The number of people who I've said, oh yeah, we're in Mahone Bay or we're in Nova Scotia, and I named the store and like, oh yeah, I went there. Everybody goes there. Do you have tourist buses that actually come to your store? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sometimes, I yes, think so, yeah. yeah, because everybody goes there. And they have the ships that come in to Halifax. 
Tuesday. So oh. we run bus tours down. Wow. Uh, to Lennon Park, which is a UNESCO um, site. Down wow. There. So oh, it's great. Beautiful. Yes. It's a lovely part of the country. Oh. And if anybody watches TV, the, uh, lots of the areas have been photographed from lots of the TV shows. TV shows and movies, yeah. Chester was a recent one. And, uh, the Sinner. Oh, Sinner. The Sinner? Yeah, the Sinner. Yeah, the Sinner. It Sinner. takes place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's so cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful place, been there four times, somebody says. Uh -huh. Wow, I'd like to go there. So you may remember, just after COVID, I actually had tickets to go on a plane to go to Halifax. It was my big trip post-COVID, and we brought my daughter Mira with us, except we had to go out of Ottawa, and we didn't bring passports because I'm like, we were only traveling in Canada. But her driver's license had expired, and she couldn't renew it because it was a learner's permit, and they wouldn't accept it, even though all of this no. was going on with COVID and she had no choice but to not renew. They said they couldn't do it and we didn't have passports. So we just, oh. the plane took off without us. Oh. Yeah, and we had driven to Ottawa just oh. to get on this plane. Awful. So yeah, destined, yeah. we were not we destined at that point. But oh. you are now that you know us. That's right. Yes. And uh, Brenda says that Mahone Bay is beautiful. So people yes. have been there. And I know we've had customers come in who visited you guys. So thank you both. We I'm going to stand up again. We'd love to see everybody there. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Hi. We will come definitely come and say yes. hi. So I'm going to stand behind you. Thank you so much for playing dress up with us. It was their idea. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, we have not played dress up in such a long time. Um, so I'll be sharing this. And oh, just for those of you who follow me, I'm going to make sure all of these pieces are posted in a Subtles and Sea Winds live collection so that you can buy these pieces that you've seen here but like i said we're having all kinds of inventory problems so it might take me a while to make sure that they're all there definitely within the next day or two thank you so much for watching everybody have a wonderful safe night goodbye oh, that was good. Pause for cool. yes that